Physics Challenge 4, Dielectric Materials. Now we have a uh, capacitor, parallel capacitor, the distance is L, and we apply the voltage V, area S, and after we apply voltage V, we insert the dielectric material with the thickness D. So find out electrical field say this is E and this is E prime um, and also what what happened after you apply the voltage V and remove it then insert electric uh, dielectric material now the capacitor itself is the same on the both cases because capacitor doesn't depend on uh, V or Q it's a, a geometric configuration so let's attack the first one you are applying a V so we charge Q so that's gonna generate a D right so the E is going to be uh, surface the charge which is a D uh, and epsilon zero E prime is charge epsilon and rho is divergent D right so that's a Q over S. So we have a situation here. Uh, the voltage, entire voltage, is going to be E L minus D plus E prime um, D. Okay, which is um, the we multiply the capacitor and that's gonna be Q right so we find the voltage and voltage is the Q over Epsilon S this guy times L minus D plus Q over Epsilon S D okay so since C is Q over V um, we know Q is going to disappear so it's going to be 1 over L minus D epsilon 0 S plus D epsilon S equals uh, epsilon 0 epsilon S now epsilon L minus D plus epsilon 0 D uh, so that's a capacitor so the E is this part E prime is this part since Q is given by um, CV you multiply C to this part this is a uh, um, Delta V and the uh, um, <coughs> vacuum area and this is a Delta V for the dielectric material area so electrical field 
is actually given by this and Q is a CB so C and V uh, it's going to be to this one so let's see E is going to be multiply uh, S this so Epsilon V Epsilon this part and E prime is um, V Epsilon zero um, and again this part right so that's the uh, electrical field in inside and outside uh, this is inside I'm sorry and this is outside so that's gonna be it this uh, circle is this part okay okay so the E is actually V Epsilon Epsilon L minus D plus Epsilon D so if we divide both sides by Epsilon 0 V Epsilon S relative permittability Epsilon S L minus D plus D and E prime is V uh, we divide by Epsilon 0 on both sides so relative permeability here plus D so the effective distance is this and this one okay so now um, we move to the next question we initially apply V and charge Q this Q is less than this Q please note and we insert the uh, epsilon then Q is maintained this Q is initial Q before insertion which is uh, V this guy C so the V C is um, the epsilon 0 s over l so this will be maintained the it's different from this q um, because there's no more supply of q so what's happened is when you insert dielectric material this drop to b uh, prime okay so what happened is capacitor is same no change so b prime is q prime minus c so uh, q prime is this v and c is here so So we cancel out this. So we will get V uh, Epsilon L minus D over L plus Epsilon D over L. Okay. So
uh, we still have epsilon here. So if we divide by epsilon, it's going to be epsilon s. Okay? Don't forget that. Okay. So, actually, the V prime is slightly less than V because we inserted this. Now, what we do is the V prime is E prime uh, E times L minus D plus E prime uh, D. So we use this B over L, L minus D plus V. Uh, D Hold on. Let's see. Um we change the format into this L over the L. So it's going to be V V over L L minus D plus um, V epsilon S L over D. So you see this correspond to this and this correspond to this. Therefore E is going to be V over L which is original um, electrical engineer, uh, electrical field created by Q dash, right? And E prime is going to be B over. So this is simple because Q is maintained the same when you insert um, the electric material. So it's going to be simply the difference on the relative permittivity and the distance okay so i hope you like this video and please check out the video too and if you like subscribe